Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN, with Computer Care Clinic's tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about something really exciting. This is probably the most exciting podcast and YouTube video we've ever done. It's about backing up. First off, I wanted to apologize for the length of time between this and my last video. Both our stores have been crazy busy, which I guess is a good thing. The other issue was that my wife is kind of embarrassing. My wife got very upset when all these bras and panties started coming in the mail. People were sending me flowers and stuff. But please, ladies, I'm very happily married, so keep your undergarments on. There's no need to do that. This kind of silliness. And it's it's a lot of responsibility being this good looking. It's true. Fellas, you try this for a day. It's, it's a lot of responsibility. I didn't ask for it. It just kind of happened. Anyway, let's talk about backing up. There is no foolproof method of backing up yet. Hard drives fail, writable CDs and DVDs go bad after a while, and flash memory eventually becomes corrupted after a certain number of erase and write cycles. Sugar. Even the online cloud backup services could go out of business in this crazy economy. So people ask me, what's the only safe way to back up? Well, so far, I've got some bad news. It's an old-fashioned hard copy print and a one-hour fire save, baby. Well, let's look at the easiest way to back up yourself, the USB flash drive. Some people call them thumb drives, but they're all the same thing. They're cheap, they're portable, they're pretty darn reliable, and you get lots of storage space for average computer users. I bought this one at Wally World for about 10 bucks. It stores about 4 gigabytes. That's about 4,000 megabytes for those keeping store at home. They're great for backing up emails, QuickBook files, documents, and uh, as far as pictures go, if you want to back up pictures, it'll back up about 4,001 megabyte compressed JPEG pictures, which is a lot of pictures. Uh, more pictures than most people have on their computers. Music and video, however, will probably require an external USB hard drive with more space. But no worries, the techniques for backing up to an external hard drive are the same as backing up to a flash drive and what I'm going to show you here will also work with external hard drives. They all connect via your USB port which is this thin rectangular doodad. You've probably got a couple in the front of your computer, in the back of your computer, laptops, desktops, all the same. Macs, uh, Linux machines, they've all got them. And USB flash drives, it's great because they're universal. They work with uh, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Macs, Linux, and uh, some of these even work with Windows ME and Windows 98. Uh, for you dinosaurs who hate change as long as you have the right drivers. You know who you are. So let's buckle up, buddies, and get down to the nitty-gritty. Let's feel the flavor of how to back up to a USB flash drive. First thing we have to do is plug our handy dandy little USB flash drive into any available USB port. Those are thin rectangular ports usually on the side of laptops or they could be in the back of PCs or in the front. Little thin rectangular slot says USB. Just go ahead and plug it in and you'll hear a little noise telling you, hey, I see your USB device. It may take a second to pop up on your screen. If it doesn't pop up, that's no big deal. I've set mine not to pop up because I find it really annoying. If it doesn't pop up, just simply browse to computer. In Windows XP, you'll be looking for my computer. This is Windows 7. So I click on computer and I look at all the drives that are showing up here and I see my USB drive is showing up as drive E, the next available letter in the sequence of hard drives or storage devices. So I can double click on it and it'll open it up and right now it's empty, there's nothing in there and this is how they're shipped from the factory. There's nothing on them, they're already formatted and ready to go so you don't have to mess around with all that kind of stuff. You can format them though just like a hard drive if you need to do that. Uh, Google how to format a flash drive, really really easy. All right. So the first thing you want to do is look for some files and folders that I want to back up. And uh, I've just opened my documents folder. I have over 10 gigabytes of data in my documents folder, so I don't want to try to back up the whole thing because it won't fit on a 4 gigabyte flash drive. So, let's say I want to take my taxes and uh, or just some other cool files that I have here, and I want to copy them. What I'm doing right now is I'm holding the control button on my keyboard. It says CTRL. It's usually located towards the bottom left-hand corner of your uh, keyboard. There's also one on the bottom right-hand corner of most keyboards. CTRL. So hold that button down and then using your mouse, use your left mouse clicker while that control button's hit uh, held down and click on the folders that you want to copy. 
All I'm doing is clicking on some random folders here that I'm going to copy as and back them up. So, dating. Hey now. So uh, I've clicked on a bunch of those. If you don't want to click on one of them, just keep holding that control button down and then click it again, and then it becomes unhighlighted. You'll see what I'm going to copy here it has a different shade of blue on it. Then when I'm ready, I just let go of my control button, let go of my mouse, and then click on Organize. Again, this is Windows 7. If you're using Windows XP, you're going to see something that says Edit. I think it's also in Vista 2. And then I'm going to copy it. I'm not going to cut it. If I cut it, what that does is it cuts it out of this hard drive and it's going to put it somewhere else. But that wouldn't be backing up. That would be moving. That's a whole different thing. So I want to copy it. So I'm going to copy these folders. And then I'm going to browse to my removable drive, which is my USB flash drive. Right now is empty. And then I'm going to go organize. Again, on Windows XP, it will be edit and then paste. And then it begins the process of copying those folders over. It tells you how much it's going to copy, so you can ballpark how much room you have left. And it just starts copying things over automatically. It is that easy. Now, a couple of considerations. You don't want to stop this while it's in the process by pulling out the USB flash drive. If you want to stop it, hit the cancel button. See the cancel button on your screen? This way you'll get a clean break. Otherwise, if you just pull it out and it's attempting to write to a sector, that sector could be corrupted. And uh, your backup, as well as your USB flash drive, could be corrupted too, causing you to uh, have to reformat it. And in some cases, it can cause permanent damage, but I haven't seen that happen too much. But just don't yank it out. I'll show you how to take it out. So uh, anyway, it's copying stuff over. It tells you how much time is left. I'm going to cancel this for uh, just to show you how to... Uh, take it out the proper way. So remember you never want to pull it out while it's copying files. So it showed me what I copied over here. If I go back to my documents, I still have a 373 and a Brevard Marketing and a CCC folder. So I have them here and I have them on my USB flash drive. So I effectively have now have a backup of these three folders. And you can copy as much as you want to, as much as you can fit on that particular drive. Remember, mine is 4 gigabytes. You can buy them up to 64 gigabytes now, almost the size of an older hard drive now. And now to eject this thing, again, you don't want to pull it out because uh, Windows has a way of writing things when you're not using your computer. So when you want to eject it, just open up your tray. Your tray is the bottom right-hand side of your screen. And you'll see a little doodad that looks like a USB cord with a green checkbox next to it. And this is the same in Windows 7, Windows Vista, and uh, Windows XP. You click on that once with the left mouse button. And then it'll say, it'll give you a little menu here. And what I want to do is eject my USB flash drive. And what this will do is stop the entire writing process where it'll tell you when it's completely finished. And you click this, it'll initiate the process. And when it's ready, you go ahead and you get a little message here saying safe to remove hardware and at that point then you could pull your USB flash device out and Windows will give you a little noise saying hey I heard you take something out and uh, that's it you're done so what you've just done is backed up some important documents on your computer and it's as easy as that simply repeat the process for different folders and different files and that's it. You can use multiples. I've had some people back up their documents on one flash drive, their photos on a separate one, and just throw them in a drawer somewhere and you're good to go. I'm Chuck Fresh, the PCGYN, and this has been your Computer Care Clinic Tip of the Day. What you do, will I do? This
And we will see just who is the hater What you do, we'll undo This here the 